Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and today I've got an update on my Kydex sheath. Um, as you'll remember from previous videos, I put together this uh, Kydex sheath. It was my first attempt for my Jack Law knife and I was very pleased with it. Um, there are a few things I could have improved on, but as a first attempt I was, uh, I was more than happy with it. I was happy with the way it clicked into place. I was happy with the thumb push there and generally I was happy with it but it did uh, lack a form of belt loop now what I've done is I've used some of the leftover kydex and a few of the scraps of uh, bits and pieces and I've come up with this which is again using a piece of kydex which has been cut out as you can see there and what you can also see is I've molded the shape of the kydex to fit nicely around this bar here because that's where I want it to secure there and you can see there how it molds into place uh, just around the handle so that's what I did I molded the kydex around the actual sheath itself and then all I've done is simply drilled out the holes and uh, put some put some eyelets in there. These eyelets are obviously to secure it to the sheath and these four eyelets are just holding the webbing strap. Now this webbing strap is what I got off an old laptop bag. It was the shoulder strap and um, I just thought I'd give that a try and uh, see how it uh, performed. Now from the previous video you'll have remembered I used the uh, company Wooden Knife Supplies and um, their stuff's really good it's uh, I think it's imported from the US it's the quarter inch uh, eyelets and uh, they work really well on the on the kydex sheath they rolled over really good using the tool and uh, I was very happy with them but in my haste to produce this I went out and bought these cheaper alternatives just because I could get them the same day because I was uh, itching to get it finished um, now as you'll see and I'll show you some close-ups of this the actual eyelets when they've been bent over using the tool that came with it it was a different type of tool because they're slightly slightly smaller size these um, they've actually split I mean they've, hold, they've held very good there's a little washer there as well that you put on and then you uh, you knock them over and I actually used the vice method as advised by uh, Adam from uh, Savage Bushcraft um, he advised me to put clamp it in the vice and just squeeze them together and that worked really well with the tool that I was given with these rivets these eyelets but because they're cheaper they've split slightly it's still firm, they're still held in and on that side it looks great you're never going to see that side so I'm not too bothered but uh, just to get it finished that's that's why I use these cheaper ones I will be buying my uh, eyelets in future from uh, wooden knife supplies because they're a better quality uh, but that's that's the reason I do like that just for speed just to get it finished so that's what I've done I've drilled the four holes I've put the rivets through and what I've done is I've heated up a um, an old screwdriver and I've just gone through, well I went in from that side actually, I've, I clamped the webbing with a little uh, little vice clamp and one of them crimp up clamp type things, a little tiny one and held in position and then I've just gone through with a hot screwdriver which I heated up on a, in a heat gun I went straight through the webbing, just cleared the hole and then I pushed the rivet through, the eyelet through and uh, put the washer on and then squeezed it to form that belt loop like that and uh, it worked out quite well now to secure it to the uh, sheath I'm using uh, Chicago bolts and again these were cheap ones which I could just pick up that day just to get it finished um, they are they're not they don't fit as snugly in the holes as you can see they're not the uh, quarter inch ones that fit snug so uh, the, I mean, the holes on these are slightly smaller 
so there's not as much movement but they're still not a brilliant fit but they work okay so that goes on there and bolts on and then uh, that's all fitted so what I'll do now is I'll just put the uh, Chicago bolts in and then I'll uh, come back to you and show you how it looks okay there we go there's the belt loop bracket in situ and uh, I think that looks quite neat and it's nice and secure now what I've purposely done is I've left the smooth side of the Chicago screw outermost on the this side of the sheath so that it matches up with the uh, rivets on the jack low handle and um, I could have had the slotted screw side outermost but I just decided to do it that way um, now what I have found is I was a little concerned that when I put tighten these screws up that they weren't going to hold too well they may have shook loose but because there's two eyelets backing onto each other there it acts as like a sort of spring washer and so it just puts that little bit of tension on the screw to really make it secure so I was quite pleased with that so uh, so there it is there's my sheath with new belt loop bracket whatever you want to call it I've purposely left that's quite a big size loop because I want it to go over um, this belt this is the British Army webbing belt and it's quite a thick quite a thick belt and you need to get it over that buckle I mean I can take the buckle off but I don't want to be doing that I want to be able to slide it straight over so uh, that just fits over nicely and uh, as you'll see from the photos in a minute it hangs quite nice off the belt as well and looks really good and um, this was just an experiment using the webbing loop what I am what I am going to do is I'm going to have another go at making another kind of belt loop with actual kydex so it's a lot uh, stiffer and firm because I think this may have a tendency to move about a bit but for now just so I can have it on my belt and um, this is like a nice cheap alternative and if needs be I can always put a uh, leg strap through there just to put around my leg so it's not moving about and um, so that's something else I might try so there you go there's my uh, update on my kydex sheath let me know what you think give me your comments um, and if you've done any of this kind of thing yourself I'd be interested to hear from you okay I hope you enjoyed that and I'll uh, see you on the next video thanks for watching